visualization in the Superstar tutorial. In this tutorial, we will introduce you to sequencing and imported visualization. There is a different tutorial that covers the details of sequencing a visualization called Sequencing a Visualization. So first, let's launch the Superstar Sequencer. I'm going to click on File and select Import Visualization. And I'm going to accept these default values here and click OK. And I'm going to select this Visualizer Tutorial uh, file that I made in the Creating a Visualization tutorial. So I'll select Open, and I'm going to go ahead and change the view so we can see it all. And there we go. You can see a representation of the visualization on the screen. Note, if you had a picture in the background of your visualization in the visualizer, you will not see it in Superstar. Also, realize that Superstar uses this visualization, but it is not a visualizer. You cannot edit the visualization in Superstar. It can only be edited within the visualizer. Okay, so you'll see above the visualization there are three sequencing rows. And on the visualization there are these three green lines. These are where Superstar found rows of lights. It then mapped each row to a sequencing row. So if we click on the top left square here, uh, you'll see that it highlights the eaves, the leftmost eaves on the house. So you can just keep clicking on these boxes, these little squares here, and see which string of lights it maps to. So you'll see that this uh, top row here maps to the eaves of the house, and these middle two here maps to the, the windows, and the bottom row here maps to the bushes and the mega tree. Okay, you also see there are these little white dotted lines here up in the sequencing rows. Those represent where a prop starts and ends. So it's most important down here on the bottom row, you'll see right here, this is where the mega tree starts and ends. Okay, so you can also select lights by clicking on the visualization itself and the corresponding box here uh, highlights. You can also click and drag to select multiple light strings. Um, you can also hold down control to add more light strings to your selection. So if I have this selected and hold down control, then when I click on more light strings, it adds it to the selection. Um, this is the Microsoft standard for um, adding items to a selection. Okay, so now let's add an effect. I'm going to go up here to Tools and select Scenes. And I'm going to click and drag and select all of the lights um, in the display. And I'm going to have the start and end be red. Now mine is by default. Um, but if you had to change it, you can right click on main here and select the color you want, and that will change both the colors there. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and click on add, and now we have this red bar here that represents the effect that we just added. So let's go ahead and uh, press this play 8 seconds button to see what that looks like. Okay, so we got all the red lights highlighted as, um, as well as this orange bush here. It did that because uh, Superstar maps each string of lights to uh, one of the four basic colors, red, green, blue, and white. And since orange is closest to red, it maps with the red lights. Okay, so let's do the same kind of thing again. I'm going to copy this. I've got this effect highlighted, or selected. I'm going to click on copy, and then click on two seconds, and then click paste. And this time I want it to be green, so I'm going to go over here and right click on main, and select the green color. And then for it to change up here, uh, we got to click on Modify. And there we go. So let's take a look at that. Click Play. we got red, green, and the yellow bush highlighted. Uh, for the same reason, because yellow is closest to green out of the four basic colors. Red, green, blue, and white. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing again. Uh, click Copy. Click on 3 seconds, and then Paste. And this time I want it to be blue. So I'm going to go over here and right click on Main and select blue, and then modify, and let's take a look at that. Click on play 8 seconds, we got red, green, blue, and purple. Again, because purple is closest to blue of the four basic colors. So we're going to do this uh, one more time. Uh, copy, and then click on 4 seconds and paste. And this time I want it to be white. Uh, now notice, if I right click on main and select white, uh, white can be generated by combining red, green, and blue. But in this case, I don't want that. Um, I want to use this little white uh, option down here. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on main and select black so it sets all those down. And then I'm going to set white um, to 100 down here. And then I'll click modify. And now it's white. And let's see what that does. So we've got red, green, blue and then white and the multicolor string of lights on the bushes highlighted as well. Okay, so if I if I wanted, um, 
I'm going to change this last white one so it only includes um, some of these lights as opposed to all of them. So I'm just going to click on this bottom eaves here and then I'm going to hold down control and just select some random lights in the mega tree. Whoops, not that bush. There we go. And then click modify. And let's see what that does. Click play eight seconds. Red, green, blue. And this time it only uh, highlighted or lit up the, the light strings that I had highlighted before. Okay, but I liked it better the way it was before, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of them again and click modify. And there we go. So let's make this uh, a little more interesting. I'm going to make it so that the end colors are black. Okay, and I'm going to do that for all four of these. So I can do a group modify. So I'm going to hold down control and add these other effects to the selection. And I'm going to right click on this square here to change the end color. And I'm going to select black. And then instead of modify, I'm going to click on group modify. And I'll modify the end colors. I'll click OK. And now we see these the squares up here are fading away to black. So let's see what that looks like. Let's play. Okay, so they all fade away right after they come up. Yeah, I think that looks better than it did before. But let's make it uh, even more interesting, and I'm going to make it fade to the next color. Um, so I'll have red fade into green, so I'm going to right click here and make red's end color green, modify. Then I'm going to make green's end color blue, so I'll right click there and it's like blue and say modify and then I'll make blue fade into white and modify and we'll, we'll leave white uh, fading into black so let's see what that looks like okay so it very smoothly transitions into the next color of lights very nice okay now let's add a new scene I'm going to go over here and uh, highlight from 6 to 8 seconds. I'm going to make it 2 seconds long. I'm going to click and drag and select all of the lights and this time I'm going to set um, all four of these colors, red, green, and blue, and white to be all 100. Okay, so they're all going to be full. There you go and I'm going to click add. And Actually I'm going to make that fade away. I think that will look a little better. So I'll take that zero and then modify. And let's see what that does. Hey, okay, so uh, it makes sense. When you have all four of the colors full, it highlights it all of the light strings are included. Okay, so I think that's nice. So we cycle through all the lights, and then it fades away, and then they all light up. Very nice. I like that. Okay, now let's do some morphs. So I'm going to go up here to Tools and select Morphs. And I'm going to, it already did this by default, um, but you can, I'm going to left click on the bottom leftmost box of this row and then right click on the rightmost box. And I'm going to set all the colors to 100. Okay, like so. At least the main start and end and the tail start. Okay, and I'm going to go up here and we're going to move this over to um, 9 seconds. And I'm going to select for a whole second between 9 and 10 seconds and then click add. And now we have our little morph. So let's see what it looks like. I'm going to click play 8 seconds. And we've got a little chase on the bottom row. Now, you may not like how Superstar mapped the strings to the sequencing rows. Uh, in this light display, you might want the mega tree on its own row. So to do that, you'll have to go to the visualizer. I'm going to minimize this and go over and launch the visualizer. And open up the visualizer tutorial. And if you go over here to props and select the mega tree, then we can just move it on down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and move it over. There we go. And save it. Click on the save button. I'm going to go back to the Superstar sequencer and import again. So we'll go to File, Import Visualization, keep the defaults, select the Visualizer Tutorial again. And now we can see the uh, Mega Tree is on its own row here. So uh, we might want to change a little morph. 
So it's on there. Click modify. And now if we do play again, you'll see that it only does it on the mega tree. Um, you could also change the visualization to move the mega tree to the right of the bushes if you wanted. So we could go back to the visualizer and select the mega tree and move it on over next to the bushes if we wanted. Click save, open up, go back to the superstar sequencer and import it again, import visualization, okay, select visualizer tutorial, and now it's to the right of the bushes. And notice, uh, after all that importing, changing the visualization, it kept the effects that we've already made. Okay, it didn't affect that at all, it just changed how it shows up here. Okay, so now we need to change the morph back, so I'm going to right click over here, and select modify, and now it's back to the way it was, set the trees to the right. Okay, so to get things mapped out the way you want, you may want to move them around a bit, even if it doesn't match how it actually appears in your display. So uh, if you wanted, you could still keep a copy of the visualization that matches how it actually appears, and then use a modified version of, of the visualization for importing the superstar. Okay, so now let's do some morphs on the mega tree. Um, so I'm just gonna move on over here, click on 12 seconds, and I'm just gonna right click here at the beginning of the tree, or sorry, left click at the beginning of the tree, and then right click there, so we've got the whole tree selected. And I'm just going to change it to be red. So I'm going to right click on main and select red. I'm going to make the tail start red as well and get rid of these this white here. Okay, and I'm going to make it happen for the whole second. So I'm going to highlight here from 12 to 13 seconds. And then click add. So now we've got a little red twist. So now if we wanted, we can make the morph go the other way, so I'm going to make a new one for that. So I'm just going to copy this, and paste it at 14 seconds, paste. And this time I want to right click here where the 1 is, so the 2 is there, and then left click here, so it goes the opposite direction. And I'm going to change it to green. Okay, and then we're going to click modify, and now it's green. So now let's take a look at that. We got red goes that way, and then green goes that way. Okay. And if we wanted, we could do them at the same time. So I'm going to control C and copy that red and paste it over here at 16 seconds. And then select the green and control C to copy it. Let's go over to 16 seconds and control V to paste it again. And now when we play that, we got red going that way, green goes the other way, and then they go at the same time. Okay, so we've got lots of options there. Now we can also mess with the acceleration here if we wanted. Um, so I'm going to change this red so it accelerates up, uh, has an acceleration of 5. Let's modify. And then uh, I'll make the green decelerate. So I've selected the green here and I'm going to make it decelerate all the way to negative 10. And click modify. So now when we play it, you'll see the red goes faster. And then the green slowed down. Let's look at that again. Faster. And then slowed down. Okay. So that can uh, spice up your sequences if you'd like. Uh, what's also pretty cool is being able to keep the tree spinning. Um, and that's pretty easy to do. So I'm just going to select this red here and control C to copy it. And I'm going to start over here at 18 seconds. Actually, I'm going to start over here at 19 seconds and paste it. And you can just paste it one second after another. So click on 20 and control V paste, control V paste, control V paste. So now when you play that, you just got red. It just keeps going and going and going. It doesn't stop until it gets to the end of that. Okay. Um, you can also, I think it looked look cooler if you had it change colors. Um, so let's go and just change this so the second time it's green. So I'm going to select green, this start there, modify, and then select uh, blue for this one, modify. And then we're going to change 
this last one to be white. And not all of not the red, green, blue, white, but the white down at the bottom. It goes zero. And the tail also white. There we go. Modify. So now it just keeps going up the tree like that. And if we wanted, we could make it keep going and just cycle through all these colors. So I'm, I'm holding down, so if we select that and hold down control, then we can have all of them in the same selection. And then copy and paste it. We could do it as many times as we wanted if we'd like. Just make it keep spinning and spinning and spinning. So now, if we play, we we'll just keep going and going and going. Whoa. So that could be pretty cool. I like that a lot. Okay, so that's all the effects I have for you. Um, just like to note that there is a visualization like this one that we built um, in your Lightarama folder. Here we go. In Lightarama slash visualizations uh, slash editor slash samples um, called Light Strings. Light Strings looks very similar to this. Um, also, there is a sample sequence back here in Lightarama uh, in Superstar slash sequences slash samples. Um, there is a sequence called Viz Light Strings I Saw Three Ships at SUP um, that uses lightstrings.lbe. Um, so some cool effects you could look in there as a reference as well. So that's all I have for you today. And I thank you for your time and hope you have a super day.